I'm in. Hi. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your student nurse today. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, are you having any pain today? Okay. Um, can I see your arm band, please? Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Emma Hill, April 16, 2002. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to do a, a neuro exam. So I'm just going to have you do some exercises and just look at some things. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you had a history of stroke or anything? Okay. Um, general survey patient is upright, pinkish in color, conversational looks or state of age. So we're going to get started. Um, can you tell me where you are? Thurston College. Okay. And can you tell me what day to leave this? Thursday. Okay. So um, patient is well oriented and um, I would rate her based on our conversation here. A 15 on the Glasgow coma scale, so level of consciousness is a 15 um, because of verbal response, eye opening and motor response. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have you stand up and we're gonna spin a walk. And then we turn around and walk back. Okay, I'm just gonna have you keep standing. Okay. Um, so arm swing was opposite to the leg, <clears throat> upright posture, smooth stride, and was stable. Um, so I'm gonna have you, um, is there any reason why you can't hop on one foot or anything? So I'm gonna have you hop on one foot. Okay, and then the other foot. Okay, and then I'm gonna have you do a shallow knee bend. So, sorry. Okay. Good, so the cerebellar function is intact because the patient could do um, at least two of the tests without um, any unbalanced thing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do reflexes. So you can go ahead and sit back down. And then I'm just gonna take the end of my stethoscope here and check your patellar reflex. Does it hurt on your toe or anything? If I were to like, mm -mm. okay. Little tender as it touches the. Oh, so if I were to like right here, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. I should probably do it on this side. Okay. So the um, patellar reflex is two plus bilaterally, and I'm gonna have you take your socks and shoes off. <laughs> and I'm going to have you just push your feet up and I don't really have anything to, I'm going to use my pinky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or if you have like a pen, I guess I can use this, I guess that will be fine. Okay. So negative Babinski. Hmm, there's something else. You can put your feet down. Um, you don't put your feet down. Um, I had it in my brain. I was like, yeah, maybe this after. I want to say pulses, but I don't. I really don't think. I really don't. Hold on. Oriented and conscious. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna test sharp and dull stimuli. What happened to your pencil? Did you know? Did you put it back? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. I'm gonna. Um, I guess you're on my bus. Okay, my fingernail will be sharp. Okay, so like, this will be sharp, and then I guess that will be dull. They're the same, aren't they? Try the back of the pen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay so if you want to close your eyes. Dull. Sure. I mean, sharp. Don't. Uh, sharp. Sharp. Do that one again. Don't. Sharp. 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 Okay. Um, so 
was, I mean, that was not the best thing to use, but um, patient could differentiate between sharp and dull stimuli. So uh, now I will have a bunch of these down. So, um, have you had any change in smell lately? No. Okay, so cranial nerve one is intact. And then uh, for cranial nerve two, I'd have yeah, you use the Snellen chart, but it's not here, so I'll just describe it. Um, stand 20 feet away with your contacts in or glasses on. Cover one eye, read as low as sun possible. Cover the other eye, read as low as sun possible. Both eyes open, read as low as sun possible. And then if it was anything more than 20, 30, I would refer you to an ophthalmologist. And then I'd also do the near vision test, so I'd have you hold something 14 inches front, 14 inches away from your face, and have you read it. And then you would pass if you didn't have to move it closer or further away. And then your visual, it would be expected that your visual acuity would be intact from those two tests. So cranial nerve two would be intact. So cranial nerve three, where did my pen let go? Three, four, and six. And then measure your pupils. They are both at five. Um, and then I'm going to have you follow my pen light. Okay, so they accommodate, and then I'm going to shine this in each eye twice. Okay. Okay, and then they react to light, so pupils are equal round, react to light, and accommodate, so they are per lot, and then I'm going to have you follow this with just your eyes. Okay, so no extraocular movements were present because the patient could follow the <coughs> pen light without those movements of the eyes. Um, so that's three, four, and six is intact. Five is trigeminal, so for motor, I'm gonna um, put my hands on your face right here, and then if you could just clench your jaw. Okay, so um, the, it's, the motor part is intact because uh, jaw clenching, you could feel it in the temporal muscles um, equal in strength on both sides. Um, and then for sensory, I'm just going to have you close your eyes and just let me know when you feel this touch your face. Well, 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 well. Okay, um, so both parts of um, cranial nerve fiber are intact because the patient could also feel sensations on the face. Um, <clears throat> seven is facial, so if you can smile, frown. Squeeze your eyes shut, lift your eyebrows up, puff your cheeks out, are you crying? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm so sorry. Um, um, so uh, cranial nerve seven is intact because um, symmetric uh, movements of facial features and there were no limitations of movements. Um, uh, eight is hearing, so if you could turn that way, I'm just gonna stand behind you. You can cover one ear and repeat whatever word I whisper. Banana, and then the other ear. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. And then, yeah. Okay, so you can turn back around. So cranial nerve is intact because uh, she passed the whisper test and during conversation. And during conversation, um, sound like a dog. Um, I didn't have to repeat any words or speak any louder. Um, so nine to ten. I'm gonna have you open your mouth, and your tongue out, and say ah. Upwards, tonsils moved out, and the soft palate also moved up. So I'm gonna have you just push your shoulders up against my hands, and then the against my hands again, your head, yeah. So the trapezius muscles and the sternocleidomastoid, um, she could push against resistance. So cranial nerve 11 is intact, and uh, cranial nerve 12, can you say light tight dynamite? Light tight dynamite. Okay, so there's clear and distinct speech. And then can you stick your tongue out and move it side to side, up, down? Okay, and that's also intact because she could do that. She can move her tongue around. Um, hmm, is there anything else I can get you? Okay, so I wash my hands and leave. 